Can you tell us about what it's like to play a witch? Um, it's a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. I, I think more than just playing a witch is just playing such a powerful, um, remorseless person. A lot of the time, it's, it's a lot of fun for me. How about the wardrobe? Was that um, difficult to get used to? No, I mean, I've done period stuff before. Um, so you, I, I'm kind of used to not being able to move around a lot. And also, I feel like when you first put it on, the costume designer is very precious about his costume, but then after a while, he figures that you're going to be rolling around in mud and stuff so then they're less worried about you sitting down and creasing something the first day you've got to stand up and like oh it's a nightmare but no it, I I think it's just the corsets are pretty tight um, so you look great but then you struggle to breathe how long does it take you to get um, I think it takes about 25 minutes we got it down to to get like tights I have I have three skirts in a lot of scenes and it's heavy like there's a scene that was uh, on the trailer where I'm in a graveyard and I'd like planned it out and like how powerful I was going to be and then I had my massive cape on and the ground I was sinking into it so I was like walking around like, like going up to terms of merchant getting smaller and smaller I was like shit this is not how I wanted this to go down so how did you did you practice being a witch did you study uh, I did you know I joined the Wiccan Society in London um, which is like it's an online you know you can join any online community now um, but I joined the Wicca one and so they have like meetings but it's all it's very different from this show. I think actually witchcraft now, a lot of people that practice witchcraft is something really beautiful and it's about being one with nature and the moon and it's not just women but I think it, it's what they do is really beautiful. It's basically a religion so a lot of that and then and then the history of witches and I, I had to get inside the mind frame of really it's a, femini a feminist story and being kind of treated below men in this society why not turn to witchcraft like why if you're a sexual woman like why not like go and dance naked in the woods and, and actually be sexual like why not in this day and age you, you'd be like fine crazy bitch go get down but in those days it was like they would be killed for stuff like that so I think there's a kind of rebellion and I really understood that do you think there could be such a thing as good witches and, and very evil ones um, coexisting sure. in the in the earth. Yes, I, I, I do. I think I think with any, I mean, that's like saying, you know, uh, evil Christians and, and good Christians. I think any kind of religion can be manipulated and and, be, and wrong can be done with it. Any anything, you know, it can be taken into extremist hands. Like, you know, there's there's Muslim religion and then there's like extremists and you wouldn't class them as the same thing. It's the same with witches probably. Well, if you're possessed by the devil, how could you do some good deeds? Because I, I don't, I don't think that. I think in this period, it was about being possessed by the devil. But actually, witchcraft and Wiccan is not about being possessed by the devil. And if you believe that the devil is the good one, if you're like, no, the devil is the one who, the, our God is evil. Like he's done all these evil things. The devil is the one who is not weak. He's he's the one who's going to make us strong. He's the one who's going to protect us. Then you alter your perception of God and and the devil and hell and heaven like maybe that's that's their goal to end up going to hell maybe that's the heaven how did you how did you get going how did you get yourself involved um i i was in london um and i got sent the script and i met but brannon braga was there shooting so i met with brannon i read the script and I instantly was intrigued by this character. I was like, she's complex and she's dark and nasty, and you know, I, I wanted, I, I wanted to do it. <laughs> and then I met with him, and he, he told me about like the whole, the whole show and the whole world, and I was really interested. But it's so hard when you read a good script because you just don't know like how much of it, how much of that script is actually going to be the shooting script after like studios and networks and everything like that. Yeah. And before I got to set, I was thinking, actually, shit, is this just going to look like kind of rubbish? Like, how are they building this set? How much money do they have? All these thoughts. When I got to set, I was blown away. I mean, you have 
you're supported by an incredible costume designer, like an insane set. Like honestly, you could really live on the set. It's unbelievable. How scary does it get? Does this show get? I think it gets pretty scary. I mean, the stuff that I've shot, there's only been a few moments that were, that, that my, my stuff is much more kind of like psychological weird than like full on horror. But I, I've done horror movies and, and I kind of love them. And I think Elise, uh, the girl in the trailer, the finger, she is one of the bravest, most exciting actresses I've worked with. Like, I'm, she's like 20 years old and she shaved her head for the role. Like, I mean, it's really exciting. She's going full out. I mean, hopefully she'll last the season. <laughs> I'm like, she's really exciting and really spooky. Can you talk about some of the other cast members you get to work with on this project? Okay, well, Elise, who, uh, yeah, she plays Mercy Lewis. I'm really enjoying working with her. And, you know, it, it raises your game when you see someone really going for it. And you're like, okay, I, I've got to match that now. Um, you know, I, obviously, I, I, I was a fan of Shane's beforehand. I, I saw a walk to remember with Amanda Moore. So, yeah, so it's like, oh, it's Shane West. Um, and Seth I worked with on a pilot. Um, we did a pilot together last year that didn't get picked up and he we didn't actually have very much to do together in the pilot so I couldn't have gauged his work getting onto set for this is so brilliant for this role I mean I'm excited for him and how people kind of respond to it like it's the best I've seen his work it's really exciting and Tamsin Merchant she's another brilliant actress from England and really really very sweet and she her character Anne Hale encompasses everything that Mary was before she decided to say fuck you to the world. And I think having that thrusted in your face, this young, beautiful, excited about life, is, is really tough for Mary. So she fucking hates Anne. It's like everything that she was right there. So what do you think is gonna hook people into this show? I mean, I, I watched the trailer and I know that it's a show that I would watch. Like, I really haven't been this passionate about something. And, you know, there's nerves as well because you, you do you do get disappointed sometimes when you, like, sign up something it doesn't quite work or whatever. But watching the trailer, I've not seen... This is the first time I've seen the trailer today. I... I would want to watch this show, like for sure. I, I hope that the work is enough. Like people will see that and they'll want to watch it. Like there's no gimmick. Like you know, we don't, we don't have Kim Kardashian in the cast <laughs> yet. What? Um, yet, exactly. What I'm being recast. What, what would it occupy? Which? What would it?